Hi everybody! Um, so today would be technically day 12. Um, I decided that I'm not going to do videos every single day. I think it's more impactful and just makes more sense if I do the videos when something comes to mind that I feel is necessary to share because otherwise I'm forcing it. So today what came to mind was um, something that my mom and I talked about the other day which was doing the things that we love. So I've always kind of been the person to, my mom included, we've always been the kind of people to um, go into things with the idea of making money and establishing our careers. I'll take these off. Um, so yeah, we we follow the stuff that we love, but we also take into account a lot of times how much money we can make um, and if it's going to be able to sustain us and um, the older I get the more I realize that that's bullshit. Um, now being older I wholeheartedly believe that yes of course you have to work and make money um, unfortunately the world does not go round without money but the older I get, the more that I realize if I pursue and chase the things that I love, um, the money will just come. Um, I'm actually in the middle of packing up all my stuff. And because I'm moving in with my grandma. Um, one reason for that is just because I can't afford my rent. Another reason for that is because I have these plans to move to the East Coast in the summer and it doesn't make sense for me to have an apartment um, if just if I decide to stay. Let's say I don't want to stay just the two months for the summer and I decide to stay for six months because I want to live in a place that's more natural, that's easier to afford my rent, um, where there's not, you know, an hour and a half worth of traffic to go 14 miles. Um, I don't think that's a fulfilling way to live and I think that almost, well, let's just say 99.9% .9 of the time, the reason why people don't pursue the things they love is because they are afraid. They're afraid like, well, you know, this job I have, yeah, I hate it. I work, you know, 40, 50 hours a week. It's not really that fun, but I went to school for it. You know, I'm good at it, I guess, mediocrely, and it pays my bills, and that's fear. But if you have to make excuses for it and justifications for it, you probably shouldn't be doing it because I can legitimately say like hopefully when I leave um, and I work as a camp counselor I'm just hoping I can say you know well I make 14 bucks an hour but I'm here and I'm really enjoying it because this is what I love to do I'm teaching cooking to kids uh, I love kids I think working with kids is fulfilling and even if I don't make a lot of money living on the East Coast, I can afford it because I can pay 500 bucks for rent. Whereas in LA, I've had to hustle a lot. You know, I've been that I've been that girl who gets up at 7 in the morning, goes to school for 4 hours, 5 hours, gets off school, goes to one waitressing job, works, you know, 6 hours and then goes to another waitressing job and works until 2 in the morning and comes home you know, goes to sleep at 3, gets up at 7, and does it all over again. Um, I personally don't think that that's the way, that, the way to live. I don't think that we should be working harder. I think that we should be working smarter, and I think the way to work smarter is to follow our dreams um, and to follow the things that make us feel alive because the more that I do that, the more opportunities come up where it's like, oh, wow, that's super simple, very uncomplicated, and it's something that I love. So I'm not going to be, you know, teaching this cooking class and being like, oh my god, these next eight hours are going to be ridiculous and this is all I can do to pay my rent. No, I'm going to be like, this is fucking fun, you know, and I'm going to make 500 bucks or whatever I make. Like, it's just, I think if we follow our dreams and we stop being afraid of pursuing them, we will be happy, we will make tons of money. And we will make the world a better place because maybe we'll inspire other people to be like, wow, I need to chase my dreams because I'm working a 9 to 5 that I fucking hate. And hey, if you're working a 9 to 5 that you love, then you're already doing that. You're already pursuing your dreams. Maybe your 9 to 5 is, you know, your dream job. Then more power to you. But don't just think it's your dream job because that's what you went to school for. 
really think about it like in your head what is it that you would love to do what is it that would fulfill you if you what would you do for free if you would do it for free then you're in the right place if you would not do it for free if you are not that passionate about it then it's probably time to give it up and search for that thing you're passionate about because we only get one life even if you believe in reincarnation if we don't accomplish the things that we accomplish or are meant to accomplish, you'll just reincarnate dealing with the same issues. So you'll end up going through this process again and again and again. So yeah, do what you love. Me and my mom talked about it and, you know, I'm really looking forward to hopefully saving a bunch of money these next three months living with my grandma. And let me just tell you, that doesn't feel good as a 25-year-old adult having to move in with my grandma. But then again... It's such an opportunity for me to save money and to possibly make my life this, what I want it to be. If it can fund me moving across the country, let's say even I don't, even if I don't get the camp counselor job, which I'm pretty sure I will, but let's say I don't, it could still fund me to get over there, get a little job at a farm, working at a farmer's market, and honestly, that's the life I want to live, so... Follow your dreams. That's all you've got.